let's speak about the hurdles that may appear when we are changing our concept of self because I'm facing them right now. Hello and welcome, my name is Gareth Fleck and in today's video I'd like to speak about hurdles that come when we are changing the concept of ourselves, so changing all our beliefs about ourselves, or maybe we're wanting to create a new habit, you know, like for instance, I'll use the example of me, I had to change my concept of self to someone who made daily videos, so I'm still working with that concept, and at the moment, the last few days, I've been battling with my old concept of self that, you know, just wants to watch content and consume and sit in bed and, you know, eat, eat junk food and not do my work efficiently, you know? So I have right now, because I've been working to change my concept of someone who makes YouTube videos, who's like does YouTube and interacts with everyone. And it's been going great. It's been going really well. I had a few days where I was like, oh, oh, the old, you know, the old self will throw a test at you, some thoughts. And, you know, are you going to attach onto that thought and get sucked into the old? Or are you going to be aware and notice it and stay on the new path? I noticed that throwing little ones and then I get back on the path. It's good, good, good. And then the last few days, boom, boom, boom. It's like old one, old concept of myself is really working to be in control. <laughs> and I've become aware of this. You know, instead of getting up and making a video straight away, I was sleeping in, um, avoiding my computer. You know, each day, the last like 40 days, for however long I've been doing this, I've been excited every day, jump up and check my YouTube in the comments. Last few days, my body's like been like, stay in bed. Don't check anything. Log into your other YouTube account, you know, and just watch videos. And I've just been watching pointless con content. Um, which is a way of me distracting myself away from this new concept of self. But I've become aware and I was aware of it sitting in my bed. Like I know I'm avoiding making a video. I know I'm avoiding my YouTube right now. Um, and it was really interesting just to observe it. And I kind of had to like accept that I'm like, okay, I'm in bed. Today can be a really lazy day. I'd still love to get a video done at some point. And then you know, and then the day went on and I still hadn't done it. Day went on and then I'm like, okay, Gareth, snap out of this, snap out of it. Get behind me, old man, like, this isn't you. We're going to keep continuing on this path of creating YouTube and content because we love it. Um, you know, I started, I was like, what would help me? Grabbed a Neville Goddard book. You know, I started reading that content, occupying my mind and flooding my mind with the... Um, you know, the feeling is the secret for any of Neville's work. You know, I was reading my um, affirmations and then I was like, what else can I do? You know, I got up and I was meditating and then I got up and had a shower, put on some nice Reiki music for like new beginnings. Um, and in the shower, just imagine myself making this video and it's worked because here we are, we're making the video and that's really good. So you know, I, I could see it's my old concept trying to sneak back in and stay in control, but we've got to be aware of it. And um, when you know, it comes to it, who's going to win? You're going to sink into the old patterns, the old habits that got you to where you didn't want to be, or, you know, am I going to progress, like push through these old, these old thought patterns that are coming and discern them, be like, that's not true, get behind it. We enjoy making content, we love it. Um, this is who I'd like to be for now, you know, keep doing this. And yeah, it feels really good right now sitting here making the video better than what it felt like when I was in bed or, you know, yesterday even my body was like, stay in bed, stay in bed, all these thoughts, stay in bed, be lazy, be lethargic, don't do anything, eat junk. And then I, my friend came over and I got my friend to come over. So I'd get up, you know, get up and do some stuff. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with that. When we're trying to change the concept of self, old patterns will try to find their way back in. And like, you know, you have doubtful thoughts. Um, I'm saying you will, you might not. I, well, I experienced it like this. Okay, yeah. I'm changing my concept. Then the old thoughts will come in and old patterns. And then outer environment will reflect it back. You know, people message me about something, a certain thing maybe. But yeah, I was aware of it. And... I chose 
to get up and make this video instead of avoiding it or missing a day. It's 7 p.m. here, so you know, I want to do a video a day and it's gone into 7 p.m. but I'm still making it and I'm going to upload it and I wanted to just share, just keep pushing through it, keep going for it, be aware when these old thoughts come in and if you get put into an older state, just become aware of it, notice that you're in the state and be like, well, what, who, what would I like to be in if I wasn't in this, you know? I did it, you know, I started to say I did it as well, got excited, joy, started feeling joyful, and got myself up, got out of it, got out of the older state that's trying to suck you back in, keep you doing the same thing, thinking the same thoughts, doing the same actions, the same motions, you know, but yeah, I love you so much. Might be a random video, but concept of self. Peace be on your soul. And I will see you tomorrow for the next video. <laughs> Bye.